I don't have resistance with money. I don't have a problem making money. I have resistance to responsibility. And for a lot of women, I grew up personally being responsible for way more than I was ready for way too soon. Wow. And so my relationship with responsibility was like, I don't want that. I just want to survive. I just want to get by. And I didn't realize that that narrative was running how much I was really valuing myself and what, what rooms I was putting myself in, how I was using my skills, how I was leveraging the gifts that God gave me. And I remember one time in my kitchen, God stopped me and I heard so clearly, he said, where are you at with receiving my gifts for you? But I kept focusing on money. Like, God, I've been praying for money. Like, I want the gift of <laughs> right there, cash. And I just kept hearing him say, well, where are you at with receiving my gifts for you? The gifts that I gave you to circulate, which bring money into form. My, your mm. voice, the, the different characteristics that I bestowed within you. I was so focused on making money that I was not focusing on tending to my body, the vessel and the gift that God gave me to actually go out in the world and do something that was going to be beyond the survival mode. So I recognize for a lot of women, myself included, is that our financial intelligence is directly linked to our body intelligence. If we're in survival mode, we can't make decisions that are going to be fruitful. We can't think beyond that paycheck. So I had to, as hard as it was, put that down for a second and really go into my body and say, what do you need right now? So that you can get into a stabilized state to be able to think clearly and use the gifts that God gave you and leverage them in the world.